Battlefield 2042s is technically out. It's in the pre-order early access week. Um, and if you've kept up with the news, there's a lot of problems with the optimization, mouse input lag, controller movement, mouse simulation to analog sticks and stuff like that. I'm just going to quickly run through everything that I've found that makes a big difference, especially the uh, driver, which I'll get into in a second if you're using an NVIDIA card. Uh, but the first thing that I tried was running this. Um, you'll see here, this command here, render resolution scale one. You just press the tilde key, so under your escape key on your keyboard, and you just type render.resolution scale one, and it'll make it feel a little more responsive. Apparently this makes the game prioritize more of your GPU rather than your CPU, because right now the CPU prioritization seems to be the big problem. Um, that's one thing that I did. The next thing, which is the bigger one, is um, downloading DDU, so Display Driver Uninstaller. Once you get this installed, I'll put a link to this website here. Go down here, download it here. Install it, extract it, run it, and then you go here, select device type GPU. And what you're gonna do is you're going to completely uninstall by clicking this button. It'll clean it out everything to do with the NVIDIA driver. And then it'll restart your PC with no driver. Um, once you've done that, you want to go here and you want to download this driver, 49613, right? Okay, because apparently the newest drivers or newer drivers um, have an issue with the game. This is the more optimized driver for the game. Um, it makes a massive difference, um, not just in FPS. Like the FPS for me, it didn't really go up that much. Overall re responsive time, the 1% 1, 1 lows seem to be fixed. And just the overall smoothness of the game just feels so much better when I did this. This is the most important thing you want to do. So the new driver is 49649 from memory. Um, because I DDU'd last night, I don't actually have GeForce Experience installed. So that's a bit of a bra moment. But um, you do that. That's prob This is easily the biggest fix uh, right now. But there's another one that you can do. Um, you just go into your uh, documents, right? You, f you go into your PC documents, find the Battlefield 2042 folder, go to the settings, and you see Prof Save Profile here. Open this, and you go WordPad. And what you do is you press Control F, type DX, and you'll find DX12 Enable right here, right? It will be zero by default because it's using DirectX 11, at, and you switch this to one, right? And it'll make a massive difference. Well, not massive, but it makes a difference. It makes responsiveness feel better because clearly the game has been developed for DirectX 12 because DirectX 11 is old at this point. Most games are all being made in DirectX 12 and they all seem to run better in DirectX 12 if you've got a modern and shorter GPU. I use a NVIDIA 2060 RTX, so DirectX 12 seems to work better for me personally. Just try this. Um, it can work couldn't work just try it out and see how how it goes uh there's a few things i want to talk about now with the mouse input delay and stuff and how to fix it so i'm going to jump in game in game and i'm going to run through how to fix the input lag it's really easy and i'll explain why it's doing it okay so you go to options right so just go down here go to options and you want to go to controller and on foot and the problem that we're that we're seeing with the with the controller settings being in the game they seem to be linked so whatever you have on your mouse uh, like settings, like your soldier aim sensitivity, ADS, uh, field of view, all this sort of stuff seems to be linked to the mouse for whatever reason. So it seems to be imitating analog movement, and that's why all this input lag seems to happen. Um, I didn't find this, but this is pretty much how you fix it, right? So down here you'll see three settings in the advanced section. You want to turn this to zero, this to 100, this to 100. And if you see this grayed out, what you're going to do is you're going to press off, change it to 100, right? So it's like looks like exactly like this. You don't need to worry about any of this. So just these four options here. You want to make sure this isn't grayed out originally. You want to change it to that. And then once you've done that, you want to go back to your mouse. And then you want to turn on... You want to <coughs> go back to your mouse and then turn on uniform soldier aiming here. Obviously, I'm using uh, the 178 coefficient, uh, just like I do in Call of Duty. So... You want to change it here, otherwise it's not going to register properly. If you just change it back in controller, it doesn't seem to work. I don't know why, but 
as you can see, it's turned it back. Oh, it's turned it back on. See, this is grayed out, but it's set to 100. So, yeah. And that's pretty much how you fix the input lag. Like, honestly, like, with all the problems I'm having, even the FPS problems, I see what they're going for with 2042. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, you might have seen me having a bit of a breakdown over how bad the game state was, day one. Um, I have a lot of passion for Battlefield, I always have, so... It's good that this some things are starting to come up that's sort of making it more playable. Um, I had a bit more fun last night after I did the NVIDIA driver. And like I said, that is the big one that you want to do. It seems to fix most things, like performance-wise. The big thing right now is the CPU prioritization, right? It's fucking... It's pegging your CPU so hard that your frame times are dropping. And that's the big reason why it feels like a stuttery mess, because of the frame times right so obviously in graphics you want to have everything on low taa low and if you have the ability to use uh both reflex low latency you want to put this enabled to boost for more responsive uh enables good but boost is even better because it does use your gpu more with boost uh dlss is the biggest one that you would want if you don't have a 20 plus series nvidia card or you're using amd that sucks, honestly, because DLSS is a big reason to why the game feels a bit smooth for me. I'm using Balanced. You can go even further. You can go Performance if you want, but I don't really notice a difference in performance from Balanced to Performance, and Performance looks like crap on 1080p anyway. So yeah, that's it. Um, I'm working on a video for Battlefield, and I have a Vanguard video almost ready to go. I just got to put it together, so... I have a bunch of videos coming, I just thought I'd put this out because I know a lot of people are having problems and I've spent a lot of time looking for every single thing I could to make the game run better and it seems to be running a lot better now. So I thought I'd just share that with everyone in one collective video so you don't have to go looking yourself. Anyway boys, hope this helps out and makes you enjoy the game for what it should have been. Um, the FPS is still bad regardless but I mean it makes it feel smoother. The 1% lows, non-existent pretty much. It never pit goes below 60 FPS anymore, so it's always at least somewhat smooth and not a PowerPoint presentation. So, yeah, hopefully that helps, and I'll see you guys when I upload the Vanguard video. It should be tomorrow or the day after. I just need to put it together. So I'll see you then, and have a good day.